Monthly payments of $75 are paid into an annuity beginning on January the 31st with a yearly interest rate of 9% compounded monthly. What is the total value of the annuity on September the 1st? And we want to round our answer, final answer, off to the nearest cent. Now, a couple of notes. First of all, payments on ordinary annuity are always made at the end of each month. So by September the 1st, there are a total of eight monthly payments. Now you have to count that right or you're going to miss this problem. So even if you have to count your fingers. If the annuities begin payment on January the 31st, that's the end of a month, so that would be one. Then the end of February would be two. The end of March would be three. The end of April would be four. The end of May would be five. The end of June would be six. The end of July would be seven. The end of August would be eight. The end of September would be 9, but we're stopping it on September the 1st, so there's not a time for a ninth payment, so there are only 8 payments. So that's the first note. If you count those payments wrong, you've automatically missed this problem. Second note is that in your formula, little t is always the time in years, and they're saying for 8 months. So we have to change the time to years. Eight months is eight twelfths, which reduces to two thirds of a year. So those are two very important things. If you don't get the number of monthly payments right, you're in trouble. And if you don't convert months to years, you're in trouble. Okay. With those things in mind, we go to our formula. And uh, you notice that I went ahead and put the fact that t is equal to two thirds off to the side, so I don't forget that. In any case, we go to the formula for uh, the future value of an ordinary annuity. We've had this formula. I hope you've learned it by now, but there it is. So all we do is plug in and calculate. We know that, in, that t is 2 thirds, so I think the first thing I would do is calculate n. n is m times t. Well, what is m? m is the number of times that the interest is compounded per year. Well, if it's compounded monthly, that would be 12 times per year. So m is 12. And again, we've already said the time is 2 thirds. So n is 12 times 2 thirds. Remember, 12 is like 12 over 1. And any way you want to look at this, you will get, when you finish, that n is equal to if you want to think of it as 12 over 1 times 2 over 3, and you can say that's 24 over 3, which is 8. Or you could have divided the 3 into the 12 and gotten 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. In any, in any case, what you really realize is that when, they, when you counted those 8 monthly um, payments, you were really figuring out what n was. You didn't have to know that or think about that in advance. But really, when you counted how many monthly payments there were, that's what n represents anyway. So really, you knew that from the beginning. We also need to know i. i is r over m. Remember, r is the annual interest rate. It's 9%. So that would be 0 0.0. 9, and we've already decided that m is 12, so it would be divided by 12. So we know n, and we're about to find i. So you take your calculator, and I'll carry through the steps this time, just so you can see them. You take 0 0.09 divided by 1, 2, equals. And what you'll see in your calculator, and we've talked about this before, is uh, the calculator has attempted its version of scientific notation. 7.5 with a negative, point, a negative 0.03. That means take the decimal place because it's a negative and move the decimal three places to the left. So although that is what you'll see in your calculator, if you're going to write this down, You'll write this down as i is equal to. Now you want to move the decimal three places, so one, two, three. That means you've got to add two zeros. One, two, and then you have seven, five. Notice that if 
the decimal point was originally between the 7 and the 5. 1, 2, 3 places puts it where I have it here. So now I know I and I know N. Now we need to plug into the formula. So we now know that A is equal to R. Okay, what is R? R is the periodic payment. That's how much you put in per period. And the problem tells us that we make monthly payments of $75. So R is 75. And I have 1 plus I. Well, I calculated I. So that's 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to the n power, which I now know is 8 because I calculated that, minus 1, all that over I, which is 0 0.0075. Now, you probably can see why I calculated N first before I calculated I because at this point I'm going to be using I so I just left it in the calculator. It's still in the display of the calculator. So to continue this calculation the first thing that I want to do is add what's already in the display of the calculator I and 1. So next thing I will do then is take the calculator display which already has this I in it and just say plus one equals and so I end up with the sum of 1.0075 that's that so the next thing I want to do is raise that to the eighth power and you know how to do that in the calculator and the base is already in the display of the calculator so you take the power button which is this x to the y you, you, you click that and then you put in the exponent which is 8 so then you hit 8 and then do equal and what you'll see in the display then is 1.06159884 and if you're looking back at the calculation, now I've done the entire exponentiation part, including the 8. So the next thing I want to do is subtract 1. Well, the part I've highlighted down there in the formula is already in the calculator display. So all I need to do now is do minus 1 equals. And that gives me 0 0.06159 And again, the, the number is already in the calculator. And if you're looking back over at the formula, now I've, now I've calculated the entire numerator. So I need to divide that displayed value by little i, which is 0 0.0075. So let's do that. So I take the calculator displayed value and do divided by point zero zero seven five equal giving me eight point two one three one seven nine seven zero eight so again looking back at the formula what's in the calculator display is the entire fraction that's being multiplied by 75. I'll go ahead and write that down. Notice that I haven't been writing down the intermediate steps. I've just put them in the calculator and looking at them from looking at them from there. And I could actually do the same thing here. But this is such an important number and if you need to go back and check for a mistake, it would be nice to have probably have this written down. You can write all the intermediate steps down if you like. But in any case, the only thing left to do is multiply the calculator displayed value by 75. So now I would take times 75 equals. So the final result for A is in the display now. Would be 615.9884781. Four seven eight one. They're asking us to round this to the nearest cent. Well, the cent is this first eight. So you look at the next digit, which is an eight, which means that 
the first eight rounds up to a nine. So to the nearest cent, it would be six hundred and fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So if you made monthly payments into an annuity paying 9% compounded monthly and you did that for 8 months at the end of that time to the nearest cent that account would be worth 